Okay, let's consider basic rules in mathematics. It is important for you to note that whenever these rules are wrongly applied, it will alter your answers. Okay, now here, um, we have the square root of minus 2. The minus 2 is enclosed in a bracket and raised to power 2. And here we have the square root of minus 2. And then the root is enclosed in a bracket and raised to power 2. The two expressions are not the same. And then you will not have the same answer because they are not the same. So here we have minus 2. This square affects the minus sign and affects the number 2. So minus times minus. Minus square will give us minus times minus, which is plus. 2 square will give us 2 times 2, which is 4, right? So this is equal to the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. So this expression gives us plus 2. Now let's look at this one. Here, there is a bracket. It's enclosed in a bracket and raised to power 2. Now, these 2 and the root will cancel out and we are left with minus 2. You can see the answers are not the same. Now, in this case, number 2, we have a plus b divided by a. And here we have a times b divided by a. These two expressions are not the same. This a plus b divided by a can be written as we can split the fraction because they share a common denominator. So here we are going to have a divided by a plus b divided by a. A divided by A is 1, so we are going to have 1 plus B divided by A. This is the answer to this expression. Okay? Now, here, A times B divided by A, A divided by A will give us 1, and then 1 times B is equal to B. All right? Now, the next one we have x raised to power n times x raised to power m. According to the law of indices, what do we do? We we'll take one of the base and add the powers. So, this is equal to x raised to power n plus m. Now, in this case, we have x raised to power n plus x raised to power m. What do we do? This is equal to x raised to power n plus x raised to power 